brothers and sisters, friends and comrades, my name's Cuba Libre, and this is a little video tour of my Minecraft Athenian Acropolis. As you can see, we're approaching it from the, well, it should be the east, so we're looking at the east side of the Acropolis with the Erechtheon and all. Um, up on the plateau there, here's my little Piraeus, for what it's worth. Just a small dock. Oh, and I crashed the boat. That happens. Alright. So here's the approach that I've made. Uh, of course, this is nothing like the historical approach. Some of the idea here was that this is a survival server. It's a multiplayer server. There's got enemies. Everything in the Acropolis was mined by hand. Um, you know, there's no flying around, no no clipping. It's not creative mode. This is the real deal. So, I made the Acropolis to be sort of like a Minecraft version of the Acropolis. So it is based on the historical one, but I'll note the differences. So here we have the Propylia. That's the that's the entrance gate to the uh, to the Acropolis. This thing on the pediment with the iron and the gold and diamond is in no way historical. It's just kind of Minecraft and rich. I wanted it to be somewhat imposing. Off to the right is the Temple of Athena Nike, which we'll get to in a second. Um, so here we are in the Propylia. As you can see, everything is kind of small and squished compared to the size of me, a human. Um, but again, I wanted to build it up on a plateau, and you can see I already had to build out a ton. Maybe one day I'll fill this all in so it looks more imposing. It's not just hanging off into space, but anyways. Um, yeah, it's difficult to get enough space to really do the size of the thing justice. So it is a little cramped, but I, I, still, I still like it. Over, off to the left here we have this sort of large room, which historically was used for a variety of purposes, but I have made it my home. So this is all my stuff, my bed. This is kind of the groundskeeper's area. Also, ahistorically, there's no doors here. This is just a s solid wall normally, but it's easier for me to just get right out from my home into the Acropolis, so I set up these uh, doors. Oops. Thank you. Oh my god! No! It's there we go. Um, okay. Wow, that was more annoying than it should have been. So, um, there she is. Here's the Parthenon. The Parthenon is um, built uh, to scale as much as I could. It has the appropriate dimensions, um, a 4 to 9 ratio, the height to width, the proper number of columns, and so forth. Really, to do it justice, I should have had each column be a square of four and then two spaces between each, which would of course quadruple the size of the Parthenon as to what it is now, and I just did not have the room for that. At least not up on top of a, uh, a plateau. The, uh, the pediment, which is the part sort of right underneath the roof, a triangle, I made stone brick. I put stone brick everywhere that's supposed to represent um, any kind of stonework carving. The pediment, of course, in reality is in on each side is an amazing sculpture with a dozen figures and uh, there's nothing, you can't do that in Minecraft, so I just put the stone brick there. Uh, the roof, as you can see, is alternating steps and flat slabs instead of just straight steps, which would have been like a 45 degree angle, that's too much of an angle. They're much have a gentler, have a much gentler slope, so I tried to replicate that that way. The metopes are the, the red and blue. Uh, and the real Parthenon, of course, they depict scenes out of Athenian and mythical history. Um, they probably were painted in, in history, of course, if you go now, like all ancient art, they'll just be like, 
know, white marble. The paint is all gone, but the Greeks favored red and blue, so that's probably s something like what it looked like. Um, here is the minor chamber, even though it faces the front of the Acropolis. Again, that gold, there's brass work over the doors, in and out, so that, that gold and stone brick is meant to replicate that. Now the interior is... Um, this was, this chamber was used for a variety of purposes. I wanted nether gates. I, I try to use kind of every unique thing in the Minecraft universe in each of the small temples. So, uh, I would have put just one nether gate at the back wall, but it's, you know, it's four wide and it's, there's a space of five. So it would have been off-center, so I had to, with the blood, this kind of some satanic, sacrificial something. <laughs> that leads with a channel of blood that, and leading into the horrible nether gates. Um, like this brazier here in the floor, this has no historical analog, it's just this is a big open area and it needed light to stop monsters from spawning, so I decided to make something cool out of it, so there, there you go. So we'll move along to the back end of the, of the Parthenon. It's still, even squished as, as small as it is, it's still pretty big for, for a Minecraft building. Um, and here, of course, is the chamber. Oh, well, uh, along the very top you see that layer of stone brick. That's meant to represent the frieze that's on the, the interior wall in the real Parthenon, which depicts a... which is one continuous sculpture that goes all the way around that depicts a procession. Um, the procession happened yearly. Uh, the Athenians would come to this chamber with the statue of Athena and place a... Uh, kind of a cloth shawl thing over the statue of Athena. Now, the statue of Athena is... I, t I tried my best with what space and, you know, just pure blocks. She's wearing a helmet, a gold helmet. She's holding a, a, her owl in her hand. She has, like, gold armor, and then she's holding a, the shield down by her left side. Uh, the structure of it is wood covered in a kind of um, ivory compound. So I just made the, the non-gold parts out of wood. And there you go. There's a, that, that's a statue of Athena. Uh, best, I could, best I could do. Um, so there's the Parthenon. We'll head over here to the Erechtheon. And the Erechtheon is a very interesting and weird building where the Parthenon is a kind of like... It's kind of perfect in a way. It's it's stately. The Erechtheon is a, its counterpoint. It's like this bizarre, chaotic. Look at this. Endermen have been here. They moved blocks. Oh, there's or something. What the hell happened? It doesn't look like Endermen. This looks like a creeper went off or something. But it's too small. I don't know. Something happened here. Anyways, the Erechtheon is kind of smooshed together a bunch of different temples. It's like any time they needed to house some relic, or they would just like kind of add a little chamber here. So it's an interesting building. One of its features is this portico off to the side. Um, these columns are supposed to be the Karyatids, which in real life are these beautiful sculpted women who hold up the the roof and um, they're, the reason there's one of the reasons they're so amazing is because they aren't identical. They look like real life women trying to look identical. If that makes any sense. Dressing alike, wearing their hair alike, but they're not actually identical because no two people are, much less than six people. So they're wonderful sculptures. However, Minecraft, you just get stone brick. So there you go. Now this front piece, this is sort of the main chamber of the temple, but it ended up being really small the way I had to lay it out. Um, is another uh, Athenian temple. It's like a different aspect of Athena. Um, so I tried to recreate a small version of the statue of Athena from the Parthenon, except replacing the gold with glowstone. Um, so this it's kind of schematic. It's not really. It's even less representational than the other one. But uh, that's that's what it's supposed to evoke. Now down here you have the big tall. Um, side entrance to the Erechtheon. Of course, in uh, in real life, there's no. Um, this isn't just hanging off here in space. The uh, 
the plateau on which the Acropolis sits is uh, actually, you know, it's it's contoured and this just goes down into the rock of the plateau. But anyways, it, it makes for a nice view uh, and it looks nice when you're coming in. There's my Piraeus down there. Um, so this chamber here was thought to be a temple to Poseidon. They housed this trident here where it scored a rock and made a made a um a spring. So I have a kind of a fountain here to uh to represent that with the mossy stone. And then in here were small temples to other gods and other um artifacts. I just have some sort of floating burning nether wreck weird uh kind of a weird uh, altar of some sort at any rate <laughs> it's something uh all right and then the final the final main building that i've built in my acropolis is the temple of athena nike which is a which is a smaller little temple oh great it's raining that's beautiful um It uh, again, it has metopes like the like the Parthenon. Of course, the the Greeks did not favor orange and green. I just wanted uh, some contrasting colors with the uh, with the Parthenon. I didn't just want it to be the same. It's boring. Um, in reality, this this temple is sort of angled a little bit, and you know, it overlooks the approach to the Acropolis, which is pretty cool. So uh, it's very small. And in it, I just have a little lava pool, um, which I use as my trash can. <laughs> uh, and it's just like the final sort of feature of Minecraftian uh, physics or unique blocks, if you will. So I just I threw it in here rather than some other kind of Athena, uh, Athena relevant uh, thing. So, anyways. Um, I'm going to go along, as you can see, there's this big, long sky rail in the back. That's a feature of the server. This is not, this is a multiplayer server, as I said before. Selectbutton.net, the, uh, the message board I frequent. This is our server, so there's many, many, many other amazing constructions here. Um, this sky rail links some of them, but I'm going to go along the rail and give you some viewpoints of the, uh, of the Acropolis from, from high up and far away. I'll be back in a sec. So here you can see an approach uh, to the Acropolis from the east, the same way I came in uh, on the boat, but from a little higher up, so it's more of a straight-on view. I have to be careful here so I don't fall through and kill myself. Um, Kind of like the stateliness of the Parthenon and the, the big, uh, huge face of the Erechtheon. Um, so there you have it. And now I'm going to go to the other side. Now here she is from the west. I really love this view. I really like seeing the big block of the stately Parthenon, and you can see all the way. You can see the side of the Propylia and all the Temple of Athena Nike, all uh, Nike. <laughs> All, uh, all stretched out. I think it's, it leaves an impression. Um, so that's my Acropolis. I hope any uh, ancient Greek or architecture nerds uh, enjoy it. It's you know it's not a perfect representation, but I I did what I could with the resources I had. Uh, if I was in creative mode, I could go nuts and make it really huge and everything. But um, you know, maybe one day I'll make a bigger one somewhere else in the server. It'll be sort of repetitive. I don't know what my next project will be. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, visit us on www.selectbutton.net. You can get the server info, and um, you can come and see all the other awesome things. Look at that. Look at that huge castle wall. That's just a, that's just a taste of what's available on this server. I hope you enjoyed Minecraft. Peace out.